is the Sumerian kings list an indication of a lost civilization? The Sumerian kings list consists of several fragments of cuneiform etched clay tablets that paint a picture of a strange lineage of godlike and human monarchs. For years, the list has been considered an amalgam of mythology and actual historic record. But recent discoveries in human DNA may prove civilizations existed during the reign of ancient Sumer's supposedly fabled kings. Now, for those of you unaware, the Sumerian King's List tablet goes back a total of 241,000 years, which has led many scholars over eons to think it's merely myth, a mystery. But the Sumerian King's List still puzzles historians after more than a century of research. But today, a paper being published in PLOS Genetics, mapping gene flow between ancient hominins through demography-aware inference of the ancestral recombination graph. This paper is a breakthrough. And it shows that DNA from an ancient, unidentified ancestor was passed down to humans still alive today. Are you picking it up? A new analysis of ancient genomes suggests that different branches of the human family tree interbred multiple times. And that some humans carry DNA from an archaic, unknown ancestor. That is breaking news. This brings the hominid history of human potential back 300,000 years to the time of the Sumerians and the Anunnaki. Now, roughly 50,000 years ago, we know a group of humans migrated out of Africa and interbred with Neanderthals in Eurasia. But that is not the only time our ancient ancestors and their relatives swapped DNA. In this paper, the sequencing of genomes from Neanderthals and less well-known ancient groups, the Denisovians, has yielded many new insights into these interbreeding activities and even into the movement of ancient human populations. But the biggest breakthrough, when they used the algorithm to look at genomes from two Neanderthals, a Denisovian, and two African humans, the researchers found evidence that 3% of Neanderthal genome came from ancient humans and estimate that the interbreeding occurred between 200,000 and 300,000 years ago. Oh my goodness. Furthermore, 1% of Denisovian genomes likely came from an unknown and more distant relative, possibly Homo erectus, possibly, well, the Sumerians, the Anunnaki. I'll leave you a list to the Sumerian King's List translation so you can bone up on it. Now, were the Sumerian kings giants? Were they gods? Were they extraterrestrials? It's clear from these glyphs, these boss relief carvings, that they knew about plasma discharge and other very ancient and esoteric sciences. Here we see an animal with a human sitting on it, and then this giant with this weird hand coming out. Stars, constellations, the winged disc, the serpent, the sword. I've seen this petroglyph all over the Four Corners region. This arrow, what does it mean? Why is she pointing to it? Who are these people? What do these symbols represent? It's anyone's guess. There's not a single person or scientist, anthropologist, archeologist, anyone who can answer with any certainty what any of this means. These are not palm trees. 
These look like more like Van de Graaff generators. What is it about the flying wing disk that is being hidden from the masses? Now, the Sumerian king's list has been debated with no corroborating evidence until now. DNA from ancient unidentified ancestors was passed down to humans living today sometime between 200 and 300,000 years ago. And the paper is just coming out. You're going to see lots of information and disinformation. But what this study shows is that hominins, 3% of Neanderthal genomes that is putatively introgressed from ancient humans and estimated that the gene flow occurred between 200 and 300,000 kilo years ago. Yes. And the Sumerians and the Anunnaki talk about interbreeding with humans at that same exact time. You do the math. Hope you got something out of the video. Have you noticed that all of the myths are now being proven by science? The quickening is occurring. More and more information is being revealed. And this, this paper blew my mind because I was looking for a linchpin to disprove all the nonsense, but I cannot because I have another piece of the puzzle to prove that DNA from an ancient unidentified ancestor was passed down to living humans at the same time that the Sumerian Kings list began. Very intriguing. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people. There is more research to be done. But we're uncovering each piece in the cog of the wheel of destiny. And we are happy that you're joining us. Be safe. We love you. And that is a boom to knowledge. Click on one of the boxes and you may just learn something.